lovely not, as a cactus, not, as charming no, as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black pea. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. You've got spires in your brain. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue, where the little who stockings hung all in a row. These stockings, he Grinched, are the first things who go. First things go. Then he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room, and he took every present. And he stuffed them in bags. And the Grinch very nimbly stuffed the bags one by one up the chimney. And he stuffed the food up the chimney with glee. And now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. Up the tree. You're a foul you one, so foul, Mr. Grinch. Oh, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, he wefty, he skunk. You're a skunk. You're a skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gunk. Mr. Grinch. Mr. Grinch, the three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote, stink, 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 st